Hey everyone, this is Phil. I just wanted to do another little video for you about Digital Performer. I'm on Digital Performer 11 and uh, I'm just loving some of the new features that they've been uh, implementing in the last few iterations or the last few updates. I'm going to share a couple of things with you. The first thing is zooming. So um, being in your uh, Digital Performer, if you're on a large TV or, or if you've plugged into a large monitor, a 4K monitor, you can use the Command Plus in, in any window and it'll actually zoom the whole thing. So no matter what window you're in, um, you can zoom. You can see I can do it here on the mixer, on the tracks window, the sequence window, anything. And it just, for, for using a large screen that's much higher resolution, that's such a really, really clever feature. Um, Obviously, um, within that, with you've got zooming, so within the tracks window, you can do command arrow up and you can do some zooming of just that window. Um, and um, of obviously, um, command uh, left arrow, right arrow will spread out your timeline in the tracks window. Um, one of the other features is now that the wiper, when you move it, it clicks to the position to a bar number rather than it just being random. So I'm going to zoom in there and show you. I'll just drag this across. And you can see as I move, it jumps to the bar numbers, which I think is fantastic. So many of us are using click track or, you know, even just, it just didn't seem to make sense to me that it wasn't locking to a to a, a bar number. And now you, when you use the rewind key, if you do that on an extended keyboard, it will do the same thing when you press rewind, it'll jump to a bar number rather than just a random position. Um, some of the other features, okay, transpose. Now this is really, really clever on the sequence window. If you open it, you'll see down here, there's a box, um, a tick box, and I'll just play a little bit of audio here. And you can just click on that. Immediately transpose your music, which is fantastic. A lot of songwriters or musicians will bring you a demo and you can experiment with that without um, too much trouble being able to quickly change the key of something and experiment with a vocalist at a different key, that sort of thing. Um, I think that's a really, really handy feature there, and it's easy to switch on and off. Obviously, you get a little bit of uh, quality degradation, <clears throat> but that's not a huge problem really for the the ability of that feature allows you. So that's a fantastic feature, I reckon. Um, the other thing is the UVI instruments. Now, I've, I hadn't loaded these until recently. Um, the UVI uh, is this uh, plugin, um, which comes with free with DP, but you've actually got to download. Um, the extras and this is just a, a loop player essentially or you've got um, virtual instruments as well like um, all sorts of tuned um, thing but obviously for just being able to throw in a, a shaker um, it will if I unmute it here <laughs> it will um, play loops in time with the tempo that you currently have selected so that's really fantastic. You can just to be able to throw some percussion on a track without having to actually physically play it or something is really great. There's all sorts of drum beats, that sort of thing. Um, I'm not gonna go into all of that right now, but just it's really easy to, there um, using that uh, feature just to um, quickly audition those. Um, you've got, like I said, lots of virtual instruments. I've been experimenting with pianos and organs in my tracks and they actually sound really, really decent. So I just want to encourage you to experiment. I, I didn't even know that really existed. I wasn't really using it, um, using something external most of the time myself or like Reason. Um, so it's really handy to have those instruments within DP and, and to be able to use them. Um, really fantastic. There's, there's bass sounds, keyboard sounds, that sort of thing. Um, the other thing I want to show you is just a little um, thing in the mixing board, which I finally discovered. So say you've got two, tra two tracks um, that you'd like to um, duplicate an auxiliary send, say. So I've got here, I might say, I want to send this to bus, I don't know, um, 11, 12, let's say. And I want to set the volume to minus 7.4. If you hold option and click and drag across to the next track, it absolutely it copies it so it'll and it'll actually copy the uh the send fader position isn't that clever really really great so yeah just that keystroke is uh option click and drag and it'll do it to the next track and so on very very cool feature um there you go check out my other videos i've got lots of lots on dp but dp11 fantastic and it's super powerful on a mac i'm using a mac m1 
Uh, and it's just brilliant. I'm really, really impressed with the latest features in Digital Performer. Please leave a comment. Any questions you got, I would love to continue to make videos. Sorry it's been so long since the last one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.